So welcome to the first list. Oh, my light's on. Yeah. So our first list will be my... The deck I got second place with at yesterday's tournament. That's sorry. Yes, yesterday's tournament. It, the deck was seven C's. And it is where I only got one loss that day, and that was against my rival Wade. And his seven, and his kind of seven C's night rose build. Which reminded me of my old build of the deck. But let's get into the deck. So we ran three nightmares. Yeah, three nightmares, two pledge, two night roses. Now this has helped me in times where I had to early I had to do early combos or retire point start and I couldn't get certain grade twos to the drop. Then we run our one gas dragon ghoul dragon. Second for grade two, so you run four corrupting sword because it helps with that rush and for when your opponent tries to rush you and it's just an easy 10k to guard their one attack. Then only two slash aid. I thought they are free, but I don't really have room, but it's been working out. Next two negro rooks. Two Ruin Shades, two Skeletons, because I feel two is the best amount. And one Columbard, because at times you may have to call something out from the drop and help with a high combo attack. It's predicted well, it's been doing very well, except for when I get great stuck. Next, we use. Four War Sprout Jigins, of course. Four Tommy the Ghost, the Australian Nablers. Two Nycro. His skill is if we have a 7 Seas Vanguard, send one rear to the drop and call him out. For some reason, I kept forgetting that it didn't have, it didn't have a grade restriction, so I used to keep sending a grade 1 instead of 0 at some points, but it didn't stop me from winning that time. One Cutlass and one Banshee. I had tried two Banshees before, but at times it was, if I couldn't get to her to draw, but I needed that extra draw, we couldn't revive that time, it wasn't that good. And Cutlass too, I didn't feel I needed to, so one of each. Trick if we run four heels, four rushy banshees, two jimmies, two carrigans, one ghoul, one ghoul cannonball, and one night spirit. And then we run our two Mike the Ghosty fans. He can. He came in handy in the battles, gave 10k to certain units, then I could retire him with Nycro or another unit, so that he would then go back to deck. For our G4s, we run four Night Rolls, two Nightmares, one Rum, and one Obadiah. You may be wondering why not four mist or that, but I felt four roses will come more in handy. Oh yes, and then before I forget, we were on Greenwich as our start. I don't run two starters, because I need that room more for a grade two rush kind of thing. And how I play the deck is a bit different. But most time, I did get off the break right strike combo. A few times with pleasure for nightmares or even night rolls over nightmares and then with that I could quell almost a whole field and then having slash shade all roots hitting for high numbers in combo 
But yes, that is our deck profile of the, my second place 7C deck. Oh yes, yeah, so I guess I'll go back to these. Bandit Rum there, still two Obadiahs. Cause I didn't feel I'd be saying too much there at a certain time. I need that on hit effect that could make my opponent really want the guard. But that went good, I went against two OTTs, one Silver Fawn. Oh yes, the OTTs were Magus and Susanoho. Then I went against the Grand Blue player, and then move oh, that bell. And then I went against a new Batama player. I beat him first time, and then I bowed him again, and I won in our revenge match. And that's all for this deck. For our next profile, will be Dudley's.